Hello everyone. Today we are talking about Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman pleads guilty to an incident that happened in 2021. He was arrested in Redmond. The officers were called to the home of his wife, Ashley Sherman's parents' house. It started around 1.49 a.m. Before that happened, the Washington State Patrol had received a call about an intoxicated driver driving in the construction area. When they checked the SUV's plate number, they found it to be Richard Sherman's SUV. Let's take a look at what he pled guilty to. In case you forgot... Now, let's take a listen to the dispatcher to see how she handled the situation with his wife, in case you forgot. What are you reporting? Um, I, 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 need, I need officers to my house now. My husband is drunk and blue. They're what threatening the, to kill himself. Stop. Stop. I'm, What's the address? Are there any is, weapons? Stop. We, are there we any, took... We took to no, me. there's no gun. I'm, I'm saying there are no weapons, ma'am. There are, no, there are no finish. weapons. You need to stop interrupting me so I can get the information I need to get officers expedited. I need officers here now. What's he doing that, that you think he's going to harm he's, himself? He's being, he's, he's being aggressive. He has sent text messages. I took the I took the keys out. They're in your car. He's trying to leave now in the house. He's being aggressive. He's wrestling with my uncle. He's threatening to kill himself. He has sent text messages to people saying he's going to hang himself. He, And he's saying that if the police show up... That, so please don't shoot is what I'm asking. Okay, wait. Say that again. He has no He says if the police show up, he said if the police show up, that he'll try to fight them. So they okay. need to understand that he is. He is. Okay. Has it been physical with anybody there? You said he's trying to fight yes, your uncle. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. How has it been physical? He just tried to fight him. Okay, trying to fight somebody and actually being yes, physical. Yes, he did. Two he did. All the way How down has it ground. been physical? Yeah. He's pulling out now. He's trying to leave. He's a fucking okay, leaving in the Maybach. What kind of car? What kind of car it's, a, it's a 2016 black Mercedes. Richard, please stop. Richard, please stop. Please stop. Is that a sedan SUV? It's, a, it's just a black sedan Mercedes SUV. Okay. He's not going to be able to get out the gate. I cut it off. What do you mean you cut it off? I cut the gate. We live behind it. It's, a, it's Richard Sherman. Like, ma'am, I, this is like a f emergency. I need officers hey, here now. Hey, to me. I'm handling this. You need to stop telling me that. I'll tell you, but what I'm not going to slow help down. He he Talking to me is not going to slow help down. Okay. Well, what I need to know is that he What's your left. name? My name is Ashley Sherman. Do you know what his date of birth is? 33088. Okay, slow down so I can understand you. What's the date of birth? March 30th, 1988. March 30th, 1988. His name is Richard Kevin Sherman. Does anybody need the ambulance there? You said it was physical. No, we don't okay. need an ambulance. Okay. And he does not have any weapons or access to weapons? No. No. Okay, and how much has he had to drink tonight? Two bottles. Two bottles of what? Now, a vodka now. and Hennessy. Okay, hard alcohol. This alcohol. Okay. He's intoxicated. Okay, sir. I'm only going to talk to one person, so please put the phone down well, and talk to man. Ashley. Look, okay, is, help, is, is the sheriff it, on the way? Okay, l listen, I, it's over on dispatch, okay? Talking to me is not going to slow anything else down.
he must pay $825 to the court clerk and $500 for the violation of speeding in the construction zone. Mr. Sherman has to pay restitution to the Washington Department of Transportation and to his father-in-law for trying to break down the door. Richard was ordered to serve 90 days in jail with 88 days suspended. He gets credit for the two days he served in jail from 2021. The 33-year-old has to attend alcohol and drug information school and participate in a DUI's victim panel. He must do both of these things within 60 days. In court, Richard said, I'm grateful for you know, you go through things in life and throughout those things, you make mistakes. What do you guys think? Was this sentence fair? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.